A lot of people would probably agree nothing quite relaxes like a hot bath. But one Fountain Green woman decided to call KSL investigator Matt Gephardt when the company who installed her expensive bathtub left her high and dry. Matt? Yeah, Mike, a bathroom remodel left this woman with leaks, left her with blown fuses, but the KSL investigators got the call because the guy who did the installation wouldn't come out and fix the problems. Sue Green is having a bad hair day. Since I can't take a shower or a bath, my husband has to wash it for me over the sink. Sue and her husband, Russ, have a wonderful brand new bathtub they'd love to be able to use. This is the tub. The couple decided to upgrade their existing tub to this walk-in model due to some medical issues. I can't take a regular shower or I might fall out, pass out. Last April, the couple paid about 13 grand for this tub, complete with walk-in access and jacuzzi jets. But Sue says problems with the tub manifested almost immediately. We can't run the lights, the jets, or the blower. Turn any of those on, it kills the electricity, the couple says. And worse, the tub was leaking. We ended up with water in our basement. Sue says she tried calling the installer multiple times, asking him to come out and fix the problems. But for seven months, she says all she got was the runaround. Well, we don't have any installers right now. We don't have any of this. We don't have any of that. Tired of waiting, Sue decided it was time to call me. You ask, KSL investigates. The KSL investigators could not get in touch with the installer Tranquility Tubs out of Idaho, so we reached out to the tub manufacturer, Boca Walk-In Tubs. In an email, they said that Tranquility is a, quote, separate company, but they reached out to them on Sue's behalf. Boca said that Tranquility's owner reached out to Sue, quote, several times without answer, but could, quote, have the tub fixed immediately. And just like that, within a couple of weeks of our emails, Sue can finally get back to good hair days. Yeah, and one thing that Sue did get this time around was a warranty in writing from the installer. If you got something you want the KSL investigators to look into, let us know about it. The number 385-707-6153, or you can email me, Matt, at KSL.com. Yeah, happy for them. The problem finally got solved there. Matt, well done. Thank you.